Oh, hey, what's up? How'd you guys get in here? Anyway, I've gotten a lot of comments on this desk over the past few months, and so I was gonna let you guys in on where I found it, what I did to it, and how I've come to use it. This thing is actually an old operating room table. When I was in residency moonlighting in some of these smaller hospitals, I found this old table in the OB suite. It didn't look anything like this. It was all rusted, it was gray metal. It really didn't look like this at all. But I loved the style of it, this kind of 1950s or 40s hand cranks. And I just really loved that industrial look. And so I talked to the folks at the hospital and they were actually gonna put it out on the street. And so I loaded this thing up, it weighs about 700 pounds. And it sat in my garage during residency for about five years before I had time and the resources to fix it up like I wanted. The first thing I had to do was get all this rusty metal off of here. So I took apart all the rails and the hand cranks and found a place eventually in Tampa, Florida that would chrome small pieces of metal. It's actually very difficult to find someone that does that nowadays. And those got chromed over the course of about a month and a half. In the meantime, I had a custom piece of glass made for the top so that I could use it as a desk because there's some unevenness and some holes here. And so uh, I just needed a flat surface. And then I knew I wanted a standout color. So I went to the body shop and found some 1978 Volkswagen Beetle green color. And that's what this is. So I had to mix it all up and I bought a spray gun and this was my first attempt at spraying anything. Nowadays, I just found it's a lot easier to use my friend, the artist, to paint things for me. He did my little military scooter. He did this matching trash can back there. He's actually right now painting my Jeep for the Wagoneer Restore project. So after I got all the parts and pieces back, it was just a matter of reassembly and put it back together and now it's a working table. This is actually kind of a treat for me because for the past four years, this thing has been locked up. I put some wire and nuts in the gears so that it couldn't spin, so my kids couldn't hurt themselves with the glass sliding off or the computer falling on them. So this will be the first time I've seen it move up and down like an operating room table in about four years. Now, I hate to admit it, but I'm a sucker for the stuff they sell at Restoration Hardware. It's just got a unique look, and it's got that industrial feel. This was a chair that matches my little aviator chairs that used to be in here before I got all this camera equipment. Uh, I drove all the way to New Orleans because I heard this thing was on sale. It was half price, so I had to drive down there and pick it up. It was a good excuse to head back down south and meet up with Jeff and go fishing. So I've got a fully functional operating room in my office should the zombie apocalypse hit. I keep all my operating tools in these two cabinets back here. I've got gloves, instruments, suture. I got everything you need to have a sterile field and operate on people. And my friends get injured, I can invite them over, lay them up on this table and get them fixed up. That pretty much makes us zombie apocalypse proof up in this here place. Now let's take a minute to put this thing through its paces. Okay, so that's my desk. I really love that thing. If you want one like it, you can probably go to a small community hospital and ask around and see if they have any old medical equipment you can repurpose. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.